Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This video is going to be about how to saddle your horse with a western saddle. Before anything, you want to make sure you groom them really well where the saddle will be touching, which is on their back where the saddle pad is, and under their tummy where the cinch tightens. Then you are going to go ahead and put your saddle blanket on. The saddle blanket is pretty standard. You just want to gently toss it up on their back and then adjust the saddle pad according to your horse's back. So you always want to make sure the saddle pad is in front of their hip bone and then about a quarter of the way up on their shoulder. So next we're just going to throw our saddle. This specific saddle has a cinch and a breast collar. Some saddles have a back cinch too, but this one does not. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go on the other side and pull everything down and I'm gonna get it all untangled and whatnot. So this is what the other side should look like. You have your cinch right there, everything straightened out. And then you wanna make sure the buckle on your cinch is in the middle of your horse's chest area. So right in the middle of their legs. Another good way to check that is just to make sure that both sides are even. Just making sure this side matches the other side, which it looks like it does. So I like to push my stirrup to the side as far as I can versus putting it over the saddle horn, just because I've had it fall down and knock me in the head before. So this is what the saddle should look like as you're tightening it. You're gonna reach down and grab your cinch, and then you are going to pull your latigo. Make sure it's straightened out. A good way to remember the name of this is, it's a long latigo. So you're going to take the very end of that and put it through the D-ring of your cinch. You don't necessarily have to worry about holding your cinch up for this part because you are going to repeat that same thing. So you're going to bring your latigo up, put it behind where your latigo starts, and then you're going to pull it straight down and put it through the D-ring again behind your latigo. This is where you'll kind of tighten it up. Not too much though, you don't want to tighten it super tight when you first put your saddle on. So you'll take the end of your latigo and you are going to put it through the bottom of the left side of the D-ring. Tighten it a little more so you can give yourself more room to, to finish it off. Wrap it around the right side, go under your D-ring again, and then through the little loop it'll make and down. So I kind of have to tighten it again. You'll be able to see me go through at the very end to tie it off. Mm -hmm. So that is called a Texas T. So next I'm just gonna tighten the breast collar. I like to reach around the top of her neck to make sure it's all untangled before wrapping it around. So there's a little D-ring on the top of your saddle and that is how you're going to tighten your breast collar. So when you do this, make sure you don't tighten it too tight because you want them to be able to comfortably move their legs while you're walking, trotting, or loping. And you want to clip that part on your D-ring. This is what your Texas t-shirt looks like up close. And this is what your breast collar is going to look like. Nice and loose for her to be able to move her legs around. So when you start unsaddling, you're always going to start with your breast collar. So you're going to do it backwards. You're going to undo your breast collar before working on your cinch. Because if anything were to happen and your horse spooked, you don't want the only thing to be holding your saddle to be your breast collar. So I'm just going to do this really quick again. And no matter if you have a back cinch or a breast collar, you always do your main cinch first. It's the tightest thing to hold your saddle, therefore it'll be the most secure. So I already went through the D-ring with my latigo. I'm repeating the process. Tightening it up just a little bit, going through the left side first, wrapping it around the right side, and down through the middle. Grabbing that breast collar, putting it through the top D-ring, and hooking it all up. So that is a simple way to show you guys how to saddle up if you ride western style. And I really appreciate you all tuning in. Stick around for more. Thank you so much.